Hi, my name is Ivor van der Zand, SAP Global Analytics, and in this short video, I'm going to explain to you about the restricted calculated measure that you can use. On the screen, you see Business Objects Cloud Wave 24, and the data set that I'm going to use is a very simple one I just created. I have um, three products and one metric, and I have a date. This uh, date is uh, on year and month level, but you can choose as you wish. So uh, one dimension, a metric, and a date. And I've put that in a model uh, that I'm now going to use, showing you the restricted calculation. So if I take a um, create a simple chart um, displaying my measure, so the metric uh, together with uh, the time, for example, um, then this gives me this result. I can drill down <clears throat> to the year and the quarters. Um, I have the quarters over here uh, and with the labels, with the results. So let me now show you how the restricted measure works. So I'm going to duplicate this chart to show you the difference. And I will put it below. Here you go. And in this one, we are going to add a calculated measure, a new one. And this opens up the calculation editor. Um, per default, it is indicated uh, as type to the calculated measure that you can give a name. And you have various functions that you can use or conditions and and or greater and smaller than conditions or the regular operators. For this exercise, I'm going to use the type restricted measure, which I can give a name. I will use the name sample restrict. And um, I, of course, uh, I can use a constant selection, but what we are going to do is I'm going to use the metric that I have and uh, I'm going to make restrictions on the product level. So I choose uh, product dimensions at the level. And now it's very simple. I can open up uh, this, um, this drop down and either select the uh, members that I want to be filtered on, or I can even ask the end user to select him or herself. So let's do that. So I'll give that a name, calculation input uh, uh, one, automated product, and the values that I want my end user to choose from are uh, A, B, and C, all three of them. So let us use that one. I confirm that, and I OK this one. And now you can see that uh, my new chart is in here. And uh, as you can see, it has the uh, sample restrict uh, matrix uh, applied. And if I now start unticking, you will see that the filtering is automatically applied on the dimensions. So this is how the restricted uh, calculated measure works. Thanks for your attention.